What's up everyone, Tommy with Studio Sins here. Thanks so much for stopping by to check out today's video. Today we're turning our attention to the relatively new flanker by Pepe Jeans London. It's been out for a few months now called London Calling. I've got that and the celebrity fragrance shout out of the month. That and more is coming your way, so stay tuned. Welcome back everyone to today's fragrance first impressions. Now for our celebrity fragrance shout out, I'm not sure if you're a fan of the show Titans. I think it's on, what is it on? Showtime? HBO? It's on Showtime or HBO, something like that. I think it's a great show in some aspects. It's definitely entertaining. Now, if you don't know, Connor Kent is a clone of Superman and Lex Luthor. And so while he has been kind of acting like Superman, he decided to embrace his darker side, his Lex Luthor side, in this scene where he happens to mention a very particularly popular men's fragrance. So something happened to your head. Are you wearing cologne? <laughs> it's a car noir. You're welcome. So there you go. For those of you that want to know how to be a badass, just simply shave your head, put on a leather jacket, and wear Dracar Noir. Today we're taking a closer look at London Calling, which is a new flanker by Pepe Jeans London from the kind of the Pepe Jeans brand that was originally established in 1973, founded on the, I think it's the London's Portobello market. I've already taken the fragrance out of the box, so we're not going to do really an unpackaging or unboxing per se, but I do want to show you the packaging just because it's kind of cool and it's probably going to freak out my camera since it's replacing my head. <laughs> So this is the packaging. You've got the UK flag there signifying London calling. And then you can see where the actual fragrance fits into the box. The box is relatively thick. There's nothing on the box in terms of writing. It says in silver Pepe jeans and in a silver box, London calling. Now on the bottom of the box, which you probably can't see here, but you've got ingredients, you've got some address information, as well as the UPC and the batch code. I really like this brand and this particular line because the line itself is represented by a cocktail shaker, which is really cool. And that's kind of why I've been calling this line a social gourmand because each fragrance since 2018 has a gourmand feel to it. In terms of what kind of quality that you get, the price has been fantastic. So here is the bottle. I'm going to show it to you here. So as you can see on the bottle, it says not to be taken. And that is a very lovely metallic blue. You know, you've got your, your little cup there, which is part of the cocktail shaker. Lid is relatively heavy comes off and then you can see the atomizer. The bottle itself is the same color of blue and then you've got your kind of ribbed sides there. London Calling is an eau de parfum concentration. On the bottom of the bottle there is a sticker, the batch code and some other stickers there. I do like the look of London Calling. Again, it is exactly the same as the entire line. It's just a different color and I like the fact that they kept the color scheme the same. So it's blue throughout uh, not a different color on the top and a different color on the bottom. The glass, it's exactly the same. It's very pretty. Probably the best looking presentation of Pepe Jeans for him. All right, so now you've had a chance to see kind of the packaging, which I'll throw over here, and then take a look at the bottle itself, and you know that it's of good quality, looks really good. Now, this marks the fifth release of their men's fragrance line, and I think it's the best looking of the five. I really like the presentation, the weight of the bottle, the idea of the cocktail shaker, still putting in mind of kind of a social gathering where people are together, you're going to want to smell great. So the idea behind the fragrance is consistently good. It's still a cool idea now in terms of social gathering. Now that we know what it looks like, what about the fragrance itself? What are the notes that make up Pepe Jean's London Calling? <laughs> Pepe Jean's London Calling features top notes of spicy plum chutney and Italian lemon with heart notes of lavender, fairy sage, and sage absolute, resting on a base of bourbon vanilla absolute, nutmeg, and patchouli. All right, so now we know the fragrant notes that make up 
London Calling. Now, there's a little bit of disparity online. Usually, there's some confusion when a fragrance is first launched. What are the actual notes in the fragrance? At Parfumo.net, which if you frequent that site, it usually has some really good information, but they do sometimes make mistakes, as most sites do. This is listed as a synthetic aquatic fragrance, which couldn't be more wrong. So hopefully they'll update that in the future. For granted, it gets it right, listing as an amber woody fragrance, but a little bit of confusion when it comes to the fragrant notes. Some will say plum chutney, some will say chutney, and then plum. If you go to the Pepe Jeans of London website, their official website, it lists the note as spicy plum chutney. And so that's exactly how I'm saying it in terms of the published notes in the fragrance. Okay, so now we've talked about the notes in the fragrance. What does it actually smell like? Of course, you can probably imagine that it is very similar to the other fragrances in the line although there's quite a bit of variation from the first fragrance that was released in 2018 to the last that was released in 2021 uh, but they all do kind of carry this same Pepe Jeans vibe that is youthful, uh, relevant. What I mean by relevant is a fragrance that doesn't smell dated, you know, it doesn't have that oak moss patchouli kind of mature 90s kind of smell to it. It's more of a modern smelling fragrance, but it is a gourmand fragrance. This isn't what I would call a light gourmand fragrance, but it's neither heavy. So it's somewhere in the middle, you know, there's a happy medium there where this fits in in terms of its weight and its density as a gourmand fragrance. I do love the fact that it's not super sweet. When you spray this on, you do get this fresh, modern, lightly fruity, but there's a darker portion in the open too that lets you know that this isn't just an easy peasy kind of simple minded fresh fruit fragrance that where it kind of goes away, you know, after the brief introduction of fresh fruit. There's something a bit darker in here. The chutney in this basically, to put it in simple terms, is just fruit, like a fruit spread. The spicy plum chutney in here gives it that darker idea and where the gourmand kind of comes from, that it's not just going to be this fresh, fruity gourmand fragrance, but there's there's something more to it. The combination of the clary sage, lavender, the bourbon vanilla in here, along with a little bit of a darker nod towards uh, more of a cooler weather fragrance with nutmeg, with the cinnamon, and then that plum chutney, which is where the spicy comes from in this fragrance. It's a very unique kind of smell. It's going to remind you of several fragrances, but it is its own thing. Even though they're a modern designer, they're taking their fragrance line seriously, releasing something every year, and what they do release, it's not necessarily reminiscent, it's not derivative, it's its own thing. And that's what I really like about London Calling. Now in terms of performance, it's more on the lighter side as a gourmand fragrance. It does project really well for the first hour or so. Now I haven't kept it on long enough to be able to give you a timetable as to when the dry down starts dissipating or when it becomes more of a skin scent until I actually do a full review and take it through its paces. But I will say this, they all perform relatively well and especially for $21.50 for less than 22 bucks, <laughs> you can't really complain. Even if it's just a good five to six hour fragrance, that's a really pleasant five to six hours on a medium gourmand fragrance whose focus is on that plum. Spicy plum is the life of London Calling, and that's putting it in a nutshell. This is altogether a casual fragrance. It's not upscale. There's nothing necessarily refined about it. Although I do love the modern flavor, you know, the modern trend in terms of energy, in terms of vibe, in terms of the, the whole social gathering thing. They've really got it down, and they've done it really well in London Calling. As an EDP concentrated fragrance, you're getting a fantastic deal. I think it's going to perform moderately well. I don't think it's going to have above average performance. I'll keep it in the midline or moderate form factor in terms of performance. It's definitely a cool weather fragrance. So this is going to be perfect for the upcoming cold weather. Of course, it's cold weather right now. However, you can definitely wear it in spring right? You can wear it in the cooler days of summer. You can definitely wear it in fall and you can definitely wear it in winter. So I would call that a very versatile fragrance. It's similar to the other line with the exception of cocktail for him. Cocktail is more of a specific summer only kind of fragrance. This one is definitely going to maintain that versatility of the other four in the line. Definitely maintains that whole gourmand vibe that is extremely masculine, very pleasant, and also very modern. How, what makes a fragrance modern? The fact that it feels dynamic, the fact that it feels forward moving, the fact that it puts you in mind of a social gathering. That's where the idea of modern comes from in this fragrance. I love the fact that Pepe Jeans can make this fragrance so cheaply. Like right now, you can get this fragrance for $21.50, 100 ml bottle for $21.50 at LaBelle, which I'll leave a link down below of where you can get it. That's where I purchased mine. LaBelle is a great site. Know the owner of the site. 
he comes up with some really good deals and this definitely is one of them so for very inexpensively which is why i say this this definitely could be one of the best cheapest gourmand fragrances of the year of 2022 it's really going to be hard to beat just how good this smells and i think you'll enjoy it equally as much as i do again london calling can be purchased at most discounters if they have a stock of them it's running out relatively quickly LaBelle is going to run out relatively quickly because $21.50 is a fantastic price. Hands down, one of the best prices for one of the best medium gourmand fragrances out there. And that's why I feel like they're going to run out relatively quickly. So if you're interested in having this, grab it up while you can and while supplies last there. I'll also put a link to the other Pepe Jeans for him fragrances because they're all fantastic. Well, that's it for this month's Celebrity Fragrance shout out and also for my first impressions of London Calling by Pepe Jeans London. I really like this fragrance and honestly I can't find much about it to complain about especially at $21.50. It's an amazing price for a really solid medium gourmand fragrance for men for cooler weather. So definitely check it out if you can. Thanks so much for stopping by and checking out today's video first impressions and as always thank you so much for your support on my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense and I'll see you tomorrow. Tonight.